Alright, so today we we're going to be talking about Merrill Witch and his article entitled Behavior in Its Place. And it's a very appropriate title because he, he actually essentially discusses the connection of behavior in certain places and is in specific correlation to television and the media kind of role in communication and how it's affected the communication that we um, behave according to or that we exhibit. He begins with a story to illustrate this kind of um, situation of what the how the media is functioning. And the story is how he recounts his trip to Europe to, you know, friends and family and colleagues and how each of those stories are different. You know, he, he told them different things, um, very much kind of influenced by the way they wanted to hear his story, for example. The stories he told his, his friends were very different from the ones he told his family in the way that what he told his friends were more about adventure and more about series of, of romance throughout his trip. Whereas the, the, the story he related to his parents were more about the conditions of staying there in the hotel and, and, her, and historical sites that he's seen. And so, using that example, he explains that it's not that these stories were false, they all had some truth, but it was very controlled by the way that he delivered his different stories to particular audiences. And so that kind of goes back to that idea of behavior in its place. How you are behaving toward a specific audience or um, group, if you will. Merrill which interplays a lot of different theories, um, especially from Erwin Goffman and Marshall McClellan. 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 Don't know how to say that. I'm sorry. But he uses some of the key concepts of how media is um, changing the way we communicate in, in a couple of different ways that he specifically talks about in the article. And one is the medium is the message. And that is this notion and concept of how the characteristics of media are influencing a certain kind of attitude or performance. But not necessarily the content of media, but the characteristics of the media. So media is the message. And then the second component that he discusses is about the social constructs that are created through media, you know, by us, by the consumers. So the first one, the medium is the message, talks about a lot of the characteristics of the media, of television. So for example, he, he explains that, well, the media can be used as a device of exploitation by, you know, the elite or ruling classes. Or it can be used as kind of a democratizing um, thing as well in the way that TV can also not be exploited but kind of democratize this information that is spread out there. And so that that's what the medium is the message is about and it's a little difficult to nail down because media we have to go back and remember media back to that story of the trip to Europe media is is not so it's it's hard to nail down because it's not so much that media is telling certain stories to audiences more it's more so the case that the audiences are conceiving it a certain way and creating that message of the media to them, for them. Um, going back to that story again of how Merowitz told the story to these audiences, the media is is just telling the story, and then the audiences are taking what they want, what they understand and want from those messages. So it's 
the, while the medium is the message, it's, it's kind of a difficult concept to nail down. What, it, what the point is, is just illustrating that media has certain characteristics that influence certain kinds of behavior. But the content of media itself can vary according to the social construct. And so that, that, that leads us to that second point of the social constructs or the social conditions or behaviors that we exhibit. And he uses a very, very excellent analogy to illustrate his point of what he calls onstage and backstage performances. Um, he uses this analogy of the restaurant and waiters and how waiters, when they're out in the restaurant, they they perform a certain way in that place. So going back to that title, behavior in its place. The waiters are performing a certain way for that audience, right? They are very um, you know, cordial and pleasant as they serve them their meals and whatnot. However, as they step back into the backstage or into that kitchen area in the back where they're not seen by customers, they perform a very different way as well. And so there's these interplay of on, on stage and backstage performances that happen in each of these audiences. Even at us, for example, we exhibit a certain kind of on stage and backstage performance, um, just as waiters kind of illustrate for us. As we interact with each other, as we um, interact differently, as as TV and media has impacted us to radically change the way we organize our coherence, um, using that word from Pierce, but that it causes us to reorganize the way. It's not a very linear process anymore. It's more of a very abstract and, and um, dynamic process, as Merrill Witch also talks about. All right, thanks.